The high rail plumbing swivels are typically mounted in the high pressure arm of the high rail motion control table. These swivels can be used in other applications that need a joint to direct water flow without having excessive high pressure tubing. Failing swivel seals typically result in leakage at the weep hole on the side of the bearing housing. Required equipment. High rail swivel seal retainer tool, part 2104. Precision lube and high pressure grease. The K1019 major kit includes new seals and bearings. The K1031 minor kit includes new seals only. This is the most common repair kit used. If repairing a swivel on a motion system, move the motion system to an optimal position for reaching the components. Before beginning service, make sure all pressure gauges read zero. Open the water tool to release residual pressure. After moving, turn off and lock out the electrical assembly at the rear of the motion system and the intensifier pump. Remove the swivel assembly from the high rail arm assembly. Each swivel assembly has ultra high pressure tubing water connections and mounting hardware. When removing swivels that are attached to each other, both swivel assemblies should be removed as a unit, then separated. Secure and support the high pressure arms as needed to prevent damage to the other swivels. Unscrew the gland nuts from the ultra high pressure water connections to the swivel assembly. Unscrew the cap screws and hex head bolts that secure the swivel assembly to the high pressure arm. Thread two 3 8 24 bolts into the bottom of the swivel body. Secure the body by clamping the bolts in a bench vise. To disassemble the swivel, unscrew the swivel cap. Pull the swivel tube out of the swivel body. If the swivel shaft is difficult to remove by hand, Install a 3 8 collar and gland high pressure fitting to allow a point to pry on. Remove the seal nut with the seal tool. To remove the swivel seal, seal hoop, and backup ring from the swivel body, thread a quarter inch coarse thread screw into the swivel and pull outward. Discard the swivel seal, seal hoop, and backup ring. Clean the parts with degreaser and inspect the swivel assembly parts. Inspect the parts for scratches, nicks, and wear. Replace any worn or damaged parts. Using the swivel tool, install the clean seal nut onto the dowels of the tool and load the seal hoop. Seal and backup ring onto the longer middle dowel. Apply a light coat of high pressure grease to the swivel seal. Apply precision lube to the threads of the seal nut. Use the seal retainer tool to insert the seal assembly into the swivel body. Screw the seal nut firmly into the swivel body. Install a new o-ring on the cleaned swivel shaft and lubricate with high pressure grease.
Apply precision lube to the face of the swivel tube that contacts the swivel nut. Install the swivel shaft in the swivel body. Apply a light coat of general purpose grease to the thrust washers and thrust bearing. Install the thrust bearings and washers as follows. Thrust washer, bearing, and thrust washer. Apply precision lube to the threads of the swivel cap. Screw the swivel cap into the swivel body and tighten. Apply precision lube to the swivel shaft threads. Insert a clean gland nut over the swivel shaft and screw a collar onto the swivel shaft threads. Leave three swivel shaft threads exposed. Lubricate the threads of the gland nut with precision lubricant. Reinstall the swivel assembly onto the equipment. If installing on a high rail motion system, install the fasteners that secure the swivel assembly to the high pressure arm and other mounting components. Connect the ultra high pressure tubing to the swivel assembly and tighten. Remove any lockout tagout equipment once the machine is reassembled. Turn on the intensifier pump, build up pressure slowly, and verify there are no leaks. With the swivel under pressure, verify proper machine movement with the swivel and check for leaks. With the swivel pressure checked, Perform a high pressure flush of the motion system. See the Flushing the High Pressure Water System video under the Resources tab at JetEdgeWaterJets.com.